So today's video topic is all about WordPress. And you've read the title, you've seen the thumbnail, why we want you to stick with WordPress, or basically why we think that WordPress will remain the king for website building for now and for the foreseeable future. And the inspiration for this video came from a recent tweet by Nico, where he expressed his dissatisfaction because an alternate CMS, or I'd say a website builder, uh, literally forced him to pay $15,000 a year up from just $468 uh, a year. And basically he was given a week to pay up the exponential amount of money or just migrate to another platform, which is obviously not a great deal. On average, 98% of people who visit your website leave, never to return. So stop wasting resources and convert visitors into customers with Optin Monster. You can set up a campaign inside Optin Monster without the help of a developer in just a few minutes and use its powerful personalization and behavior targeting options to show the right message to the right visitor at the right time. So check out Optin Monster today from the links in the description or scan this QR code on the screen. Now, this is not an isolated incident. Something really similar happened to me. I've been using a URL shortening service for quite some time. And to be fair, I've been using the free tier and it was a generous free tier. And recently they uh, sent me an email that they're changing their pricing plans and the free version of the free tier is now going to have 100 times less capacity than it used to. Now, to be fair, it's their product, it's their business. They can change the pricing however they like. Uh, I was a little surprised, but thankfully they gave me plenty of time to migrate, plenty of time to make a decision and to do all the necessary activities if I wanted to migrate. And they, they even sent me a couple of coupon codes to upgrade and see if the... Uh, new pricing plans made to made sense to me. Now, in my opinion, this is how it is supposed to go. It's as a business, they have control over their prices, whatever they want to charge. But if I'm using a specific tier or specific, I'd say, kind of service for a very long time, I'm used to it. If they want, they're changing something dramatic that affects my quality of life or the way I've set things up, um, Enough time is, I'd say, it's a good reason to for me to understand that they have made their business decision. But this happens all the time. In this particular case, uh, the time limit was something that I think a lot of people were not happy with, that either pay up this exponential amount of money or just find another source or I say, take your business elsewhere, take your website elsewhere. Now, we at WB Beginner are already huge evangelists of WordPress. Our entire business is built around the WordPress ecosystem. And this was just a reminder of why we think WordPress is and should be the number one choice when you're building your own website. And in this video, what I'm trying to give you is a balanced perspective on why we think that if you are deciding to build a website today, tomorrow, or whenever you're watching this video, then you should definitely take a really hard look at WordPress because WordPress offers some massive advantages over other CMSs or say website, website building platforms that they just can't match. Now, just to be clear, no platform is perfect and WordPress isn't perfect either. But as I said, WordPress offers some amazing advantages and especially over the long run that most people do not consider when they're building the website. And it's true. If you're building a website and you see that, hey, I can get it done in 30 minutes or maybe you take a day or two, you're probably going to choose the 30 minutes route. But that might end up costing you a lot in terms of time, energy, money in the future. And that's why I say, Long-term advantages are the more important thing and more people or I say most people when they're building a website, they might not consider, consider it because they might not have the perspective that a professional with WordPress has. So in this video, what I'm going to do is just give you broad pros and cons between WordPress and other website builders so that you can get a balanced long-term perspective on what you will get and what you won't get if you choose WordPress or decide to go with any other platform so that you can decide for yourself that if WordPress is the right way to go, we absolutely say so, but it's up to you decide. So here goes the basic pros and cons of other website builders first. So let's start talking about the other platforms first. And I want to start by talking about the pros of other platforms. So one pro that I've observed with other platforms is that they might be easier to use. Now I say might because uh, easier is basically subjective. I find WordPress very easy to use because I've been using it for some time. So for me to take or I say take a look at any other platform, I might find that difficult instead of WordPress. So that's why I say it might be easier to set up so other platforms might look lucrative because they offer some extra features to quickly build your website or maybe do something specific that a user is looking for. And all of that might be bundled into one single package which might think that, hey, okay, this is the way to go. I have everything I need. Let's get started. So that's truly an advantage with other uh, website builders. 
the second advantage of these platforms is that they are usually hosted platforms. That means the service provider or the business itself takes care of hosting the service or hosting the CMS and maintaining the website and maintaining the backend infrastructure. And usually the user has to do very little in terms of maintaining the website. Now, WordPress has a hosted version as well. I'm not going to get into the details, but this is one advantage that a lot of people think that, okay, this is great. Uh, I don't have to manage this. And they get locked into the ecosystem which I'm going to talk about. And then long term, they might face a lot of, I say, disadvantages when it comes to uh, these kind of platforms. So uh, with that, let me talk about the cons of using these other platforms, which you might not have considered when building your website. The first disadvantage I would say with other platforms is the high cost. Now, most of these platforms will offer a free tier that you can utilize that's very generous. But as soon as you hit a very small, tiny limit, you're bumped into a very high and expensive plan. And this is what happened with the tweet I mentioned. They were using a fairly, I'd say, moderately priced service, which was around $500 a year. And as soon as they hit a certain limit, which was the number of visitors, they were forced to pay $15,000 a year. So that's the kind of high cost that you cannot perceive because when you're starting a website, let's say you're starting a website to start your own business online, you think, hey, I'm getting this website for free. Excellent. You build it. But then later, maybe in three months, six months, whatever time period, you're hit with a very huge bill because now you've exceeded the service or exceeded the terms that they will offer for free. And now you are locked into the high price. So that's the first huge disadvantage. The second disadvantage is limited flexibility. Now, because these platforms are usually hosted, they offer limited flexibility when it comes to customizing the platform. So you, have, you are limited by the functionality that they will provide to you when it comes to doing certain things on your website. Now, WordPress doesn't have this limitation. I'll talk about that. But the idea is that if you want a really customized solution, which every business will, will require in the long run, then these platforms might be severely limited when it comes to doing something that you like to do with the platform. So you might be just logged into a platform that doesn't offer, doesn't allow you to do something that you really want to do. And the third and the most important disadvantage is vendor lock-in. Now, this is the challenge, as I mentioned in the tweet about the first tweet or the inspiration for this video. What happened to them was they were hit with a huge bill and they were given a week to migrate. Now, if you built your website and you've built your business over a long period of time, let's say six months, eight months, two years, it's not enough time, a week, two weeks is not enough time to migrate your entire website and entire business, especially when you're moving platforms. So let's say you are on platform X. Now suddenly they have some problems. You want to migrate to platform Y. It's not a, just a copy paste solution. That's going to be a huge project that might require weeks or months of effort. And still you might not have the same advantages or as the same features in two different platforms. So that's why essentially when you start with a website builder, which is not WordPress, you're essentially locking yourself into their ecosystem because if any problem happens and you need to migrate, it's not easy. It's not quick. It's not inexpensive and you might not be able to exactly replicate uh, the same functionality or let's say gain the same amount of traffic if you just migrate your website from platform x to platform y and this is the huge disadvantage that most people completely forget about because they maybe they're thinking on the short term but in the long run this is causing or this will cause a lot of challenges uh, with any other website builder so hopefully with that simple comparison, you now understand what's the pros and cons of other platforms. Let's also talk about WordPress a little bit. And I'll start with the pros of WordPress. And the first big advantage of WordPress is that it's completely open source. And I'm talking about the WordPress.org version, which is the downloadable piece of software. As I said, WordPress has a hosted version as well. But the more popular software WordPress is WordPress.org, which is literally a piece of software you can download. You can do anything on it. You can install it on a server, purchase hosting separately. And you don't have to actually do it this way, basically download the software because most hosting providers today offer one-click solutions. For example, we recommend Bluehost as the hosting provider of choice. And you can literally go to the link in description. I'll just paste a screenshot on the screen as well. If you click that link, they'll offer you a free domain name and just $2 a month of pricing where you can build your own website. So you can just literally start clicking a few buttons and your website with WordPress can be ready in 10 to 15 minutes maximum with your own domain name. And I've done videos about this. I've, I've given a complete tutorial on how to build a website, how to start building it. And the same process I've completely documented, done it live. So you can literally watch that building a WordPress website is not expensive. It's very quick. You can just click a few buttons. I've entirely showed that in the video and just build your WordPress website. And it's completely open source. So even if let's say WordPress dies for some reason, right, it's not going to happen, but let's say WordPress completely disappears, the piece of software, which is WordPress will still live on 
And because it's open source, anybody can take the pieces or pick up the pieces and start upgrading. And, and even today, WordPress, or I say a big chunk of WordPress is developed by just contributors who are just passionate about the project. So even if WordPress, the company disappears, this piece of software will live forever. Somebody will pick the pieces, keep upgrading it so that you can utilize it. And your website and your content will never die just because WordPress dies, which is not going to happen, but you're not basically logged into a platform. Open source, that means open, that means living forever, and your content will never be affected, your website will never be affected, and your business will never be affected if you are using WordPress. Now, the second advantage with WordPress is linear costs. Now, any business, if you use X amount of resources, will have to charge you X amount of money. And the more resources you consume, the more they will charge you, which is completely fair business. Now, in case of WordPress, let's say if you start, as I said, you can start a WordPress website for $2 a month and be happy and just use and get a free domain. Now, if you use, uh, let's say, more than the intended resources that, let's say, Bluehost provides, they might charge you more but I'll just paste the pricing page on the screen. The next plan is not thousands of dollars or even hundreds of dollars. It's, it's just a few dollars more than the current pricing. So if you even run into limits or in, I'd say a fair pricing with any business or hosting provider with WordPress, the cost of managing that website or just running that website will very linearly increase over time instead of exponentially increasing over time. And this is a huge advantage with WordPress because if your business doubles overnight, your costs don't go 10x. They might just go up 20% because hosting is a lot cheaper. Or I'd say hosting doesn't scale linearly with X amount of traffic come to your site. So you will always ensure that, hey, you're not spending hundreds of times of more money just because your business is growing. So it's a huge advantage with WordPress. And after this, the third and most important advantage with WordPress is the ecosystem. The ecosystem is why I think WordPress is the most popular CMS in the world and 44% of the entire websites in the world are built on WordPress because it has a fantastic ecosystem surrounding it. You can Google any kind of tutorial around WordPress. We have the biggest resource on the internet about WordPress. This channel is a testament to how much WordPress or how much education out there is available for WordPress. You can find vendors for WordPress. You can find plugins for WordPress and even the free version of WordPress where the plugins and themes are free, you'll find thousands and thousands of plugins and thousands and thousands of themes that you can freely install and start utilizing them. And even if you need some help, help is just a couple of Google searches away. We at WB Beginner offer some pro services. We offer hacked website recovery services, website maintenance services, speed and optimization services. So literally, you are just a couple of clicks away to find professional help, which not, might not be the case with any other, I'd say, website builder, because they will have a very small support team compared to the amount of people who are building the websites. With WordPress, the ecosystem is the greatest thing because you can always find help, always find a solution, always find the plugin, uh, and always find some solution easily, very quickly. And there's tons of free resources available. You don't have to pay for it. For example, our entire channel with almost a thousand videos is free to watch. Our entire website with thousands of articles about WordPress is free to consume. So you are completely, absolutely free to go and uh, say, watch anything, consume any piece of content and just build the WordPress website that you've been wanting to. So that's the big advantage is WordPress. Now I'll be honest and completely admit it. WordPress is not perfect. WordPress has its cons and I've said it. WordPress is maybe not the easiest piece of software to use when you are starting. It has a light, slightly steep learning curve than it should be. Now, why is it that case? I've actually covered this in a recent video. Maybe it's already published. If it is, I'll link it in the description. And if not, I'll paste the thumbnail on the screen so you can see that this is the video that talks about it. And the end of this video, I'll link to that particular video as well. So you can go and watch that video and understand why is WordPress sometimes confusing and not easy to understand for beginners like you. So, this was the basic uh, perspective on why WordPress, we think WordPress is going to be king. It is already king, by the way, but it is going to remain the king and it's going to survive most other web website platform builders. Now, what do you think? Do you agree or disagree? And if you disagree, then what are your thoughts about WordPress and other platforms? Let us know in the comments. And if you want to continue your WordPress education, then the channel is completely free to subscribe. So make sure to subscribe, like this video, comment your thoughts and share it with someone if you think they'll be helpful or they'll find value with this. You're watching Yuvraj from WBeginner and I'll see you in the next video really, really soon. Take care.